hello everyone on my craft table today i have a tutorial for making this very simple edging on a cloth coaster okay so this is a cloth um, coaster that i had made and uh, now i have added the edges uh, to that so this is how it was before uh, adding the edges so it was nice very simple and to add a crochet edge to a very thick coaster see this is a very thick coaster to add a crochet edge it's it's not possible for us to make holes with the needle through this to make a hole and make the edging stitches so for that i have a method which is which i have done here i have a method for doing this beginning row and it is in another video for which i will put the link um, in the description box so you can follow how to start this part of the crochet edging uh, you can follow by watching that video so assuming that you have completed this row now i'm going to show you how to make this edging it's very simple just a two row edging only so this is how it goes so the needle that i'm using here is a 1.75 mm uh, steel crochet hook and the cotton thread that i'm using is a size 10 cotton thread in pink color so to begin there is um, no need to make a slip knot but if you are comfortable only with a slip knot we can start like that if we are not making a slip knot we can even start without this also directly we can start from here also okay assuming that we are going to make the slip knot so make the slip knot and then insert your needle in any one of the spaces here put your hook through the um, the um, the loop that you made just now and then pull it out and make one chain and make one DC in the same space ok if you want it a little more let me do it so once again so if starting you will make a loop like this then insert your needle anywhere on the mat and put your hook through this and tighten it see off camera <laughs> okay you take the loop like this see this is how this is how it is and bring the slip knot outside like this after you bring the slip knot outside make one chain and in the same space make another single crochet also okay now see this tail thread is here at the back now this tail thread you can uh, weave it inside a little bit so until then you hold it on and work your stitches along with the tail thread so you are um, the end when you want to tie it up it will become a little more easier. So now I made one single crochet now make 5 chains after we make 5 chains now leave 2, two stitches see one two and make a single crochet in the next one again this full row is going to be only loops like this so five chains skip skip two and inside the third one make a single crochet so one two three four five skip two make a single crochet So all around we are going to be making loops like this ok so everywhere but what is very important is that the number of loops that you have all around should be an even number ok so the an odd number does not facilitate in making this pattern so you should have a even number of loops so that is the only thing that you have to keep in mind 
now here the number of stitches uh, may be different for different um, um, what you say for different um, sizes and the way we make the stitches the number can vary so in order to make it into an even number what you have to do is you have to adjust this this place here so here i told you skip two and make the single crochet into the next one and if uh, if you need to adjust then maybe you can skip 3 and make the single crochet into the third one so that um, you know you, you can either um, decrease or increase the loops to get an even number. So here I have made 4 then I will complete the whole round and then I will come I will I'll meet you again when I come back to this position. So I have made uh, loops all, all around and now I have 33 loops now so I have to get um, uh, either 34 loops or 36 loops okay so in this space I have to adjust everything so 33 plus 1 is 34 so it will stop here uh, which is uh, not a good idea because there is there's more space here so I have to try to adjust uh, three more in this so three more uh, will look too cramped in this so what I am going to do is uh, remove a few of the loops here and try to adjust it here so you see here instead of uh, you know there is a little bigger gap here I will try to make it a little smaller so that I get more space to make the rest of the loops so I am going to remove it so that is the way you also have to adjust because in the base row we are not sure how many um, uh, stitches are there so that is why it, it is like this so in this case it is like that but in some where the base row has got the specific number you will end up with the correct uh, number for the upper row also but this is different okay so here 1 2 3 4 5 okay so instead of um, uh, I think I will make uh, yeah uh, no I have to uh, skip two and make the third one here instead of making there I will just skip one and make one loop there ok so one two three four five One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I, I have made some extra loops there so um, let me count how many are there now before I finish that there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 so there are 34 now I have to make two more so I will try to adjust one here we could even uh, stop at 32 also so we we we, we should have adjusted um, we should have adjusted before that so let me complete continue like this only now 1 2 3 4 5 so this 5 we will attach it to the first single crochet that we made there so attach it with the slip stitch okay so there are 36 loops now uh, in total it could have been 34 also uh, that also would have worked but uh, there are 36 here uh, don't think it will be a problem 
sometimes when we are designing on our own uh, you know this is the risk the, the designers will take and then uh, sometimes they will have to redo it again once or twice in order to get the stitches correctly in order to make a pattern. So that is the little bit of um, extra work that you need to put in for this also. So after you finish joining here the next thing that you will do is you insert your needle into the next uh, loop and bring out your thread like this that means you are making a slip stitch. After you make a slip stitch chain 3 so this chain 3 is equivalent to 1 DC after you made that first DC or chain 3 we will be making 4 more ok so for a total of 5 so 4 DCs plus the 3 chain will become 5 DCs. So, here see 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I am making the fifth one and now chain 3. After you make chain 3 in the same space again we are going to make 5 DCs. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Make the 5 DCs in the next loop we are going to join it with a single crochet ok. Then after joining with a single crochet in the next loop again we are going to make this, this scallop pattern. So, 5 DCs 1, 2, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. Let me get the thread properly. 5 now three chains in the same space five more DC. So, one, two, three, four, five. After making the five DCs attach it with the single crochet to the next loop then again starts the 5 DC here ok. So, let us see how the pattern is coming now see this is how it will look now ok. See this is the same one. So, this is how we continue all around till we reach the last one ok. 5 DC 3 chain 5 DC all around. Okay, off camera I have completed um, all the scallops here. Uh, so, you see when you finish this is how it will look and then you might have to just to smoothen it out a bit for it to all stand nice and flat. Okay. And now just the last one to do. can see here I have completed this, um, this pattern and after I complete this I am going to make a single crochet into the next loop and I will be joining. But why I told you you should need, need and you need an even number is because if you an odd number then your work will you will have one more extra loop there and you do not know where to join it. So, that is why you should have an even number. Ok, now I stopped, I made a single crochet here in this loop and to join it to the uh, next <coughs> to complete this what we have to do is we have to make a slip stitch in the third chain in which from which you began make a slip stitch like this and when you make a slip stitch we are completing this row. 
after making the slip stitch in the starting chain 3 just make one chain like that and then you can cut off the thread after you cut it off then tighten this so you can see here it's done it's nice and flat now now what is left is so these tails are there these tails have to be uh, woven into the, the um, uh, back side so what we will do is I'm just going to thread my needle and then after we thread it I'm just going to take it into different um, directions and places for it, for it to so there is no set rule of how you have to do it you just have to make sure that all your threads are well hidden and well um, attached also so that they don't come out So instead of making in one direction, we can even go back, we should even go back um, so that the thread will be more secure. So wherever you think you are able to pass through and you are sure that your thread will not be seen from the back, okay, then you will do that and cut that then there's one more this is the starting uh, tail we'll do the same thing here also you have to find a spot to for for you to pass it through so this is a little more easier because this you know already stitches are here which makes it easy then instead of just going in one direction you have to go in the other direction also to secure it nicely and when you are satisfied you can I just want to make one more stitch so a quick and easy project so you see it's done and please check out my other crochet tutorials on this channel and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already thank you